A well-known archaeologist has been uncovering history this fall along the Hudson River. We're very lucky that this particular fur case hasn't collapsed yet. David Starbuck from Chestertown, a professor at Plymouth State College in New Hampshire, has been digging for years near the main base camp used by tens of thousands of British troops during the French and Indian War. He's focusing on a site near the fort that was a tavern and general store where soldiers would come to smoke, drink, and spend their money. No one has ever dug a sutler's house before. So, and so we really didn't know from archaeology what civilians were selling to soldiers and to, to officers. Now we can say because of the thousands of wine bottles, thousands of tobacco pipes, that alcohol and tobacco were the big sellers. By the late 1750s, the fort was occupied by 16,000 British and provincial soldiers, including the famous Major Robert Rogers and his Rangers, who are the focus of a new documentary we're producing here at Mountain Lake PBS that'll air in the spring. You can learn more by going to our website, mountainlake.org.